Do you fancy an Amazon voucher worth £400? If so, stay tuned. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Reza Rutsari, I'm the Director of Undergraduate Education here at the School of Dentistry, University of Manchester and thanks a lot for joining me on another episode of Manchester Molars. So, NSS is open and we are inviting all our final year students in our BDS and BSC OHS programs to go ahead and click on the NSS links and give some feedback on their experience and tell us how they enjoyed uh, their life being a dental or a therapy student with us. The university is also rewarding the early birds by putting 10 Amazon vouchers worth £400 each into a prize draw for those students who manage to fill in their NSS questionnaires by 29th of February. So if you're planning to do your NSS questionnaire anyway, why not to just go ahead and do it now and then you would have the chance of winning one of these 10 Amazon vouchers. Now, moving along, I'm going to leave you with Dylan to tell you all about the green team. Hi there, Manchester Mullers. I'm Dylan Hamill, I'm one of the uh, fourth year undergraduate students here at the uni. Uh, I'm also part of the green team in the hospital, uh, which is led by Patricia Berry. The first thing that we want to talk about is that reduce, reuse, recycle is already in an order. So if we can reduce, then reuse, then recycle. Um, so obviously that first one is like Obviously HTM 0105 uh, encourages the use of protective barriers, um, that is best practice of course, um, however we don't need patchwork quilts on clinic. Uh, then skipping, to, skipping the reusing, because we can't really do that, um, in terms of recycling we just want to kind of make sure people know bins, it's a very exciting topic, bins. Um, the reason is that there may be a few changes um, with the layout of the bins. It may sound very silly, you do it in your first OSCE station, etc. But um, there has been some confusion. So the orange bags, uh, if you see them, they are only for when the patient is known to be an infective patient. Um, a lot of the time, non-infective patient waste goes into those bins, when really it should go into the tiger bins. Um, it's a cheaper form of waste, which is good for the hospital, it means it can use funds elsewhere. Um, but the household waste uh, can be used for anything that is non-clinical. So I think it's that time of the year again I see lots of you guys coming to the clinic with your casts and images and x-rays and asking for treatment plan all panicking which is fine and kind of actually cute but anyway uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave you with uh, Dr. O'Connor for some words of wisdom. Good afternoon everybody and um, a couple of points I'd like to reassure you with. Firstly uh, we are actually arranging some drop-in sessions over the next few weeks with members of staff so if you have any uh, questions about your cases or you want any reassurance um, these, these will be organised over the next few weeks. Um, I'm also uh, pleased to tell you that from my understanding is that everybody who uh, entered the Dental Foundation training interviews have been successful. However, you won't be guaranteed uh, where your training place is or actually having a training place until you have graduated. Um, but in the circumstances, congratulations to you all and you've all been very successful. Um, Reza and myself are always around for any help or advice that you may want during this uh, reasonably stressful time. But from my uh, understanding, having been around on clinic, things seem to be going very well. So thanks very much and have a nice weekend. And finally, we're getting very close to the sign-off and your exams and it's getting really, really stressful. But hey ho, it's dentistry, being a dentist or being a therapist is a stressful job and it's stressful to be a student doing that. Uh, we've all been there, we've all done it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with Prof Gray to tell you how he relaxes as a dentist. Hello, uh, Manchester Molarites. It's nice to see you again. 
So Reza asked me just to talk about relaxing, relaxing before exams and things like that, and I think it's important, so I'll tell you how I relax. Um, no one's ever honest, are they? You know, you know, sometimes people just like watching football, and I do like watching Manchester United nil, which is a bit unfortunate at the minute. So I like the football at the weekend, I like walking, not too far, because I mean, over 45 minutes is enough, my wife would probably walk all afternoon, but that's far too much for me. So 45 minutes on a Saturday. I also like making soup for when I get back from the walk and I can tell you how to make some soup. And all you need is one cauliflower, cut it up, put some chicken stock, which is a litre, and then get a chilli whole and then just put it in and cook it, or just warm it up for about an hour. And that gives it an extra bit of kick and then just blitz it with one of your little blitzers and that will give you a really nice cauliflower soup. And you know what? It's about one calorie, which is very good for the waste. But Unfortunately, I have other things that make that worse there. So that's my soup. Uh, I also like sewing. Now that doesn't go down well with all my colleagues. They think that that's a little bit different, but I think it's very good. I've got quite an expensive um, electronic sewing machine. What have I made? I've made trousers, I've made jeans, very badly. In fact, um, I put the jeans on to show my friends and they split whilst I was showing them how good it was. So I'm not the best sewer, but that's, that really takes me out of my little zone. It's great. So I do that probably three hours on a Sunday. Sewing, walking, I, have, I used to walk the dog, but unfortunately we lost the dog about two years ago, but, so when I retire, I think I'll get another puppy and start trading that one up. Um, what else? DIY, I just love DIY. I think with, with the skills I've got with dentistry, I quite like doing things, so um, I don't know if I do them well or bad. If you visit my Facebook site, which you need to friend me for, you'll see my dining room that I've just done up, and also the family room. And I don't think I do a bad job. And then the other thing I've got is a big back garden. And you'll also see that on my Facebook site. And that takes me three hours a weekend um, of doing the lawn, of weeding, all sorts of stuff, pruning back the stuff. So, so that's Nick Gray of a weekend, really. And then I just sort of chill out and come back to work on Monday, relax with the batteries recharged. It's quite a nice way to be. And I've try, I, I don't think about dentistry ever at the weekends. I try not to do that. Having said that, I do do emails because I like get, doing a bit of work and I find that if I keep on top of the emails then it uh, makes it less stressful. So have a nice weekend, Molarites, and I shall see you probably in a week's time. Bye bye. Thank you Nick, that was fascinating to know. So guys, now we're getting to the end of our Manchester Molar. I know, you have to wait another week for the next episode. But anyway, until then, I've been Reza Listeri, you've been amazing and I'll see you all next week. <laughs>